Okay. Thank you, Anthony. Thanks, darling. Um, I hello. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here and happy to be in Seattle, away from LA, contrary to popular, uh, you know, opinion. Opinion up here tonight. I'm happy to be away from the fake tits. I traded fake tits for real armpit hair. That it's fine. I'm I'm totally okay with that. Like less chemtrails and more bo. I'm I don't care. I am a vegan. I'm used to the bo. There really is a fine line between vegan conscious and dirty hippie. I learned that being here. It's so crazy. Like I try to be really conscious. These boots are not leather. I'm a vegan. I want to be living a sustainable activist life and I somehow find very dirty hippies in my small circle. Which is fine because at least they don't eat meat, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But um, my dad was horrified when he heard that I was moving up here. He was like, are you insane? He is a very stringent Republican um, conservative. And he's like, I know Kurt Cobain. There is a lot of crazy, grungy shit going on up there. I have no idea what you're thinking moving up there, Abby. Do you know there are dangerous people in Seattle? Murderers, <laughs> rapists. Do you know what I've seen? Democrats. <laughs> there are crazies. You should not go there. You should stay in LA, maybe get a boob job, and have a great life like your mother and I do. No, that's cool. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love Seattle. The three main crops I've noticed here, I do. I'm so happy. Tofu, ha hops, and hemp. Those are like the three major food groups and crops in this city. Which is fine if you're not a masculine male who I want to date. Because I don't know if you guys know about those three crops, but all three of those things have phytoestrogens and are very effeminate making. Do you know what I'm talking about, ladies? Okay. So the guys here are obsessed, well, the ones I date, with tofu, hops, and hemp. And they are sissy boys. And the most masculine men I've met here are women. <laughs> and that's fine. And I will go that route, because when in Rome. But I love dick. I'm sorry. I, I'm not one of those comics. I just do. I'm not one of those comics that get, gets up here and talks about cock. I think it's really classless, and my parents would be horrified about it. What are you doing? You're so perverse. You're ruining our family's reputation. Please find a stage name. But I did read in The Stranger that blowjobs are on the decline, which I was not pulled in that study. I don't know who is pulled in that study. Obviously, I was not pulled in that study. <laughs> okay, because I like giving a good puffer. Oral fixations. But I will ask, what did you eat today? Was it a super green salad? Organic with a wheatgrass shot and maybe a nice sprig of turnip? Because if so, then yes. I will suck your dick. I love that flavor. Yes, that's delicious. But if you ate a cheeseburger and a pesticide-laden fake iceberg salad with some cow pus drizzled on top of it, then no. No, I won't suck your dick. Thank you very much. No. I'm a very big slut to a very select group of people. Very big to a very, very small. <laughs> the red light's on. <laughs> so yeah, um, keep it real, stay, stay, <laughs> stay activist oriented, stay sustainable, and keep eating your greens, boys. I'm not a threat, sweetie. I, what'd you eat today? Trust me, I'm not a threat. Don't worry. Don't, he's not gonna get turned on with me talking about blowjobs, okay? What'd you eat? I'll prove it to you. Organic carrots? This never happens. <laughs> He's cute too. You should move if you lose that. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! All right, everyone. Abby Lovemer. I don't know about her. I'm not a vegan, but I do like to eat clam. You know it. Next comedian coming up.